Hey, hi everybody, and welcome back to Barry Cubing 101. My name is Joe, I'm your host of Barry Cuber. Uh, this is uh, Buster, a little squirmy wormy today. And he is just been a real handful. So come on, there you go. There Okay, so um, I decided that today um, I'm going to use this exact same intro for all these cubes. Um, we're going to start off with the uh, copper coin cube, then we'll go to the honey cube and the ready barrel ready, and um, oh, what's this one called? The uh, clover cube. And um, I think the only one thing that's going to change is uh, something that I pretty much going to implement today. And, uh, you know, I've had some people ask me for, uh, you know, some shout outs and I decided that I might as well go ahead and utilize, um, the mirror here, you know, uh, this is going to be my Kryptonian, uh, <laughs> you know, uh, what, what do they call that? The, uh, Phantom Zone mirror. Yeah. Um, so if you want to get your name on the old Phantom Zone mirror, um, all you gotta do is ask me in the uh, comments and we'll get you up there. We'll get you hooked up. Um, so go ahead and check back on, you know, just for that if you want. Um, but yeah, we'll start with this one, then we'll move on to the rest of these. And uh, I guess that's it. Okay, uh, cool. We'll see ya. Um, I don't know. We'll just see it. Hey, everybody. Okay, so let's get started. This is the uh, Land Land Honey Copter. Um, so the first thing we want to do is uh, rotate um, these pistons pieces into uh, positions where um, all the whites match and then all the blues match um, and all the corners you know so everything's all matched up right now and the only thing I re really have to understand is um, uh, this is a little sticky cube here um, that this piece and this piece and just like this one and this one and this one and this one and all the other pieces um, it's one piece with two stickers right so I can't separate this blue from this white because it's, it's the same piece. Um, so knowing that, uh, we're going to know that the white's going to be on top and this needs to be on the blue side. So let's go ahead and rotate that this piece over to the blue side. And you just simply do, do that by these uh, dino moves, okay? Um, so uh, this, this piece here has to go up here, but instead of just... Uh, I mean, I guess we could do that and then turn this out of the way and return that and return this. Okay, so that's in. Um, how about this one? You could also have done, done it like this where you turn this down out of the way, bring this one down, up, and up. Okay, that piece is in. Uh, the last white is over here. So this looks like it's going to be a double dino move. Okay, so, and remember, just rotate these back when you're done with them so that um, all these uh, corners all match up. Okay, great. Um, so it looks like uh, this piece is in its correct position, green to green and red to red. And this one's in its correct position, green to green, orange to orange. Um, so all that's really left is the uh, the blues. So uh, we need a blue orange over here. Um, the blue orange is right there. So we can um, let's turn it out of the way this way. Okay. So then we can turn this one down, bring that down, and bring that back. Um, the red is uh, we need a blue and a red. So here's the blue red. Okay. So bring it down, pop that in swing it back and turn this one back now that we have all the edge pieces in let's flip the cube over so that the white's on the bottom and let's have a look at what's going on down here uh, or up here um, so this piece is is in its correct position um, but this one this one and this one need to shuffle around so uh, which piece has the furthest distance to travel well it's this green piece this green piece has to travel from here to here to here Okay, so since it has the furthest distance to travel, um, let's meet it halfway. This is the halfway point. So bring this down, take that green and turn that in, return this, and return that. And basically, it's just as simple as that. It's just a series of dino moves. Um, so, okay, this is another level one cube, in my opinion. 
Um, super easy, but again, it's going to teach you the fundamentals and the foundation of what's to come. Okay, so we'll see you next time on Bearded Cubing 101. Take care. Bye.